Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well. Today's yoga practice is specifically focused on yoga for cricket. So if you are an adult or a kid who plays cricket, you can try this yoga video. Cricket is a physically intensive sport that can take a toll on your body. It's an exhausting and demanding sport. So these yoga poses will help you improve your stamina, flexibility and mobility and give your muscles a much needed relaxation and stretching. You can do these yoga poses before or after your game and also in cricket there is a coordination between bat and ball where you need a very sharp focus and concentration power so the breathing practices will help you relax and help you improve your focus and concentration. So let's start our practice for today. Sit in a cross-legged position how I am sitting and if this is not comfortable you can always take one leg out. Sit comfortably, sit straight, let your shoulders relax. Close your eyes for a few seconds and rest your hand on your belly. We will practice belly breathing now. This will help you slow down your breath, help you relax and focus and it will also improve your core muscle stability. So breathe in through your nose, expand your belly and breathe out through your nose, take your belly in. Two more times, breathe in, expand. Breathe out, contract. One last time, breathe in, expand. And breathe out, contract. Rest your hands back on your knees. And on your next exhalation, gently open your eyes. Namaste. Let's continue with our practice. Now we are going to be doing Kapal Bhati. Kapal Bhati is a deep breathing technique and this will help you keep your mind focused and also help with blood circulation. In this practice, you will do active exhalation and passive inhalation. So you're going to breathe out through your nose, exhale, take your stomach in and inhalation will happen on its own. So let's start. Slow down. Take a deep breath in through your nose, breathe out through your nose and now we are going to do butterfly pose. So join your feet together and drop your knees down towards the mat, towards the ground. Rest your hands on the top of your toes and just breathe. This is a great pose for releasing your hips, your inner thighs and your groin improving your hip flexibility which is much needed in the game of cricket so do this for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 release your hands and from here come on all four position and we are going to do now cat and cow rest your wrist underneath your shoulders Knees are underneath your hips, wrist, shoulder width apart, knees are hip width apart. We are going to do now cat and cow pose that will loosen up and relax your spine and your lower back and will give you better flexibility while playing cricket. So let's start. Press into your palms, drop your belly, chin up, look up, breathe in. Breathe out, round your spine, chin to the chest, look at your belly button. Breathe in, drop your belly, chin up, look up. Breathe out, round your spine, chin to the chest. One more. Breathe in, drop your belly, chin up, look up. Breathe out, round your spine, chin to the chest. Now slowly get your spine to neutral position and we will release our calf muscle that will help you energize your legs and release your tight calves. So take your right leg back, 
pressing into the ball of your right foot, lifting your right heel up. Just take the weight back on the top of your right foot. Breathe. Really good for energizing your legs. Stay here. Breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Get your right leg in and take your left leg back. Press into the ball of your left foot. Send your left heel back. Breathe for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Step your left leg in. And now we are going to work on our wrist flexibility. That is also much needed in the game of cricket. So, you are going to point your fingers in towards each other. Palms up facing up. See if you can extend your arms. Breathe. Stay here. For five, four, three, two, one. Rest your palms down. Hi kids, I hope you like the short preview and if you would like to practice through this whole video and check the other videos in this course, then go ahead and click on the link below in the description. These videos are really good for improving the performance of your game and reducing the risk of injury. So I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. Namaste.